All right, we're lining up here at the Penticton Lakeside, handing our gifts on the way in. Good morning. So uh, what's your name, sir? Gordon Hurley. Oh, thanks, Gordon. So uh, you've been busy collecting toys here this morning? Yes, we got here at 7 o'clock, and we've been run off our feet ever since then. Let's see what we got. That's quite a table full of toys. Yeah, it is. And we got the Penticton Bees here helping us out, which helps a lot. Yeah, we fill the whole place up with toys by the time we're done other years. Lots of hardworking Rotarians down here. That's right. Yeah, we like to do this, help out in the community. With Troy Stretcher, the captain of the Penticton Bees, you guys are down here working as a team. Yeah, it's, uh, it's for a great cause. I mean, the community gives to us, so we're going to give back to them. And, you know, it's a special day for these children on Christmas. Now, did you guys get uh, get some breakfast at the end of the day? Yeah, I think we're rewarded with it. But, uh, you know, our main cause here is to help put the toys away, uh, like I said. So, uh, you know, I'm happy to do it. I'm helping to ha help the kids. And I know if I was in their position, people would be helping me. We've got some local royalty. We have Queen Valvedette and the Princess, the Penticton royalty. So, Kelsey, uh, what are you doing down here? What, what brought you down? Um, we just heard about it, and we weren't officially supposed to come, but we bought a toy, and we decided just to come down and say hi and help out a little. Slap on a crown and a sash yeah. and show up. <laughs> so uh, what's it like to see all these people down here uh, donating toys for kids? It's awesome. I haven't been here in a few years, but it's really great seeing people get up so early to come here out of their day just before work or before school. It's really nice. And I'm surprised at how many children are down here. You're pointing that out. They're coming down before school. It's great to see kids learning so early about giving. Yeah, I think it's awesome that kids are taught from this early on that it's good to give back to your community, especially during the holidays. Stepping into the organization shoes this year, Susie Thomas said, well, so what's it like to be faced with a task like this? It's awesome. It's really wonderful to see all this going on in Penticton. So what does it take to to make this much breakfast? I mean, I guess you guys are used to feeding lots of people. We are. It takes a lot of work from our purchasing staff as well because we do have to go out and get donations from other organizations. So it's it's right. It's a lot of work. So, and, and and the Lakeside has been doing this for you know almost two decades now. Almost two decades. I know that um, I can't remember. Jack Sloboda started it with the Penticton Inn. So this is our 19th year, actually. So, uh, and now we get the, the school choir is starting up here. There's so many people here, all these organizations helping out. Yeah. It's just a great, a great event. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. We're really happy to have this event. <laughs> we, we managed to find a little lull in the lineup here. We have Jill and Diane. You guys are from, from Valley First. Valley First, yeah. You're down here serving up breakfast? Yes. There's a lot of people here. It's fabulous. It's a great turnout. It's been pretty busy for you? It's been steady, for sure. So what uh, what makes you want to come down here and help out? Why, why do you guys do this? Just to help out in the community. It's a great cause. There's a great need in the community, so it's good to give back. Excuse me. And this, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, don't let me hold up the works here. <laughs> now we're talking to Christine Simmons from the Salvation Army. This must make your day. Oh, it's a, a day that I look forward to all year when we start planning for our Christmas hamper program and uh, I, f I find out from the folks at Canadian Tire that they're able to help us for uh, to provide gifts for our children just gets me all excited and then to come here and see all these people and uh, all the beautiful gifts that are here it's just a wonderful day. Now talk about the need and where these toys all go and how are they distributed? Well, we ourselves at the Salvation Army are going to be providing gifts for approximately 500 children this year. And we try and do two to three gifts for each child. So that takes a lot of work and uh, there's a lot of money involved. So uh, we just appreciate so much the help. They go directly to the children and uh, they wake up on Christmas morning and there's their gifts. And there's so many groups and organizations that come together to make this happen. We met like, you know, the Rotarians at the door and folks yes. from the Valley First. Yep. Well, that's what makes it such a great event. It's, it's a community coming together to help those who really need help at Christmas time. And uh, without the help of all these people that are here this morning, the donors and the workers and uh, the Lakeside Resort, this couldn't happen. So we, we just so appreciate it. You know what I think is really neat is seeing all the little kids that are down here, and they're down here learning about giving and helping others. That's becoming a really good trend. I, I see a lot of people who uh, come to us and say they want to teach their children that it's important to give back, and they do it uh, by giving gifts or helping out at Christmas time at the schools, and, and that's a learning tool for them to use later in life. So this is great, and now we're standing right in front of the Canadian Tire yes. display, and you mentioned that they give 
They give a lot. We've got Lorraine over here from Canadian Tire. That's a truckload of toys. It is. Every year we've given between five and six thousand dollars worth. Wow. And uh, so, so uh, it looks like you've sort of focused on some of the older kids here, perhaps. Well, Christine gives us a list of everybody that's in need, and uh, we have focused to the older kids because everybody else seems to focus on the younger ones. So and they can be sometimes a little trickier. They are. I have a 14-year-old myself, and it's hard to know what to get her. <laughs> so how does it feel to, to know that you're part of all of this, this big crowd, and, and that you guys are helping out too? Well, every year it's, it's a blessing that we are able to do this for everybody, and I'm very happy and, and pleased to be able to donate.